What is up, everyone? Today, we will be preparing an image for laser engraving. And the reason I'm making a video on this is because when I started five years ago, I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. But luckily, I can share my information with you guys to hopefully help you out. And today we'll need three programs, Adobe Photoshop, GIMP, which is free, and whatever laser program you use. So let's get started by opening Photoshop. And with that open, we'll take our image and drop it in there. Now, first thing we want to do is make sure it's the proper size. So I've got the crop tool set. Set it to 8x10. Yes, it's the proper size. Now we're going to want to go to image, image size, and change the resolution to 300. Why this is important is because we are going to match the resolution with the picture to the resolution that I have my laser set at. So, first thing, image, adjustments, black and white. Okay, next go to filter, sharpen, unsharp mask. And what this does is gives us a lot, of, a lot more detail. And we're going to want to set the amount at 500. And the radius you can play with depending on your picture, but most of the time I'm around five pixels so click OK the next thing we're going to want to do is go to adjustments curves and we're going to want to play around with the light and dark values because we want them as distinguished from each other as possible to get the best engraving and that looks pretty good to me then after this we're going to file Export and let's put BW save. Next, we're going to open up GIMP and drag and drop that in there. Then we're going to go to image, scale image, and make sure that all right, the resolution's still the same. Click Scale, then go up to Image, Mode, Indexed. And we're going to want to go to Color, Dithering, and make it positioned. Click Convert. And what this does, it turns the picture into thousands and thousands of little dots. And each one of those dots, the laser will put a dot. And that's how we can get good images. So... Go back to File, Overwrite, and we're going to want to open up your laser program. I use Lightburn. Then drag the image in there, and we're going to want to click on your image over here. Open this up. Make sure it's set to 300 DPI, and Image Mode is Dither. Click OK. And you're good to send it to your laser, depending on whatever your wood settings are. So, let's see how it turned out. And here is the final product. I think it turned out pretty well. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And, as always, if this video helped you, it would mean a lot to subscribe and like. Thanks. Have a good day, everyone.